Hello, I'm Eric Reno, and this is a video for Tipsquirrel.com. In this video, I'll be answering a reader question who asked me, what exactly is a smart object? Well, let's go into Photoshop and find out how they work. So here I have a very simple image indeed. It's just got three layers, a background layer, which is the box, the Tipsquirrel logo, and some text that says handle with care. I'm going to convert these to a smart object. So with my first layer, background highlighted, I'm going to shift and click on the third layer. Now you can do this with as many or as few layers as you wish. I'm going to right click and say convert to smart object. And you'll see that all three layers now appear in one layer, the handle with care. Now I'm going to rename this one. And we'll find out why in just a second. But it's named now one. It is a layer all of its own. But what if I want to change it? Maybe I'd like to take that tip squirrel logo off. Not a problem. If I double click on the thumbnail here, I then get told I'm going to do some editing to a smart object. And it opens a brand new document. You see it says handle with care here. I can turn off the logo and then just close it. It says, do I want to save it? I say, yes, please. And sure enough, it closes it and takes me back to the image that I was working on with my changes all in situ now. Very clever. Now I'm going to take this and I'm going to move it across into a blank image here. I'll say yes to that. That's fine. And control T to transform it just to make it a bit smaller. It's taking over my image rather a lot, isn't it? There we go. So now I've got that in a new document, but I want my logo back. That's not a problem. Even though I've taken this with just two layers visible to us, I can still go back into my smart object and turn that logo back on. Close it. Yes, please. And back we go. Now let's go over to another image, two boxes, and you'll see now I've got a background image and my logo on one of those boxes. I'm going to take the background and I'm going to take the logo and I'm going to move them across to our other image and drop them down. That's fine. Now I've brought those two layers into this document and I can right click and make them into a smart object. I'm going to control T to transform and make this much smaller. And there we have it. I'll click the tick. Now the great thing about smart objects is I've made this smaller but now I can control T and I can go much bigger back to its original size and lose no quality whatsoever. Control T just one more time, bring it back down and there we are. I'm going to click the tick. Now I've got this logo which I'm going to call two because there's two boxes as opposed to the one box. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to control and click on one. So I've got one and two now highlighted. I can right click. I can convert to a smart object. Now both the image one and image two are now contained in this new smart object, which I'm going to call three because it's got three boxes in it. So this is an analogy about smart objects. We're parceling them all together. We're packaging them up but we can open up the package as often as we like. So if I double click on three, that's fine. And then you see that I've got the one and the two in there. Double click on one. OK. You'll see that I'm now back to my original image. It's not, I'm not working on one box, which was my original image, but with an image within that smart object. I can now turn off my handle with care, for example, close it. Yes. Close this one, which is one and two. Yes. And now I'm back to my working document without the handle with care on my box. Now I want to show you just one more thing. I've got to go back to this one box, in fact. But rather than dig deep into my smart objects, let's go back to my original one box image. Now you'll notice here that handle with care, if I now control Z to undo making this into a smart object. You'll notice that handle with care is a smart object in itself. 
let's go and see what's inside that smart object just by double clicking it and it's just the words handle with care so I could tell it to say this way up maybe Oop. this way oh up let's uh, change these to capitals as well while we're here keep it all nice and neat that's better let's close that oops click the tick close that yes and sure enough this way up but why would I want this as a smart object well unlike normal text I can now control T this and I can use better warping in my case I can distort it which means I can take the corner handles and distort them as much as I like and in this case I'm actually putting them into some kind of perspective and it's as simple as that let's move this one down a little bit and click the tick so there we are all kinds of uses for smart objects I'm Eric Rano. Thank you very much for joining us. This has been a video for tipsquirrel.com, the free website for everything Photoshop, Lightroom, Adobe Camera Raw, Photoshop Elements and Photoshop Touch. I'll see you again next time. Bye-bye for now.